Crossroads Care um, service came about as a result of the Crossroads TV program. Um, there was a storyline in the program about Sandy Richardson being confined to a wheelchair after an accident. Well, since he recovered consciousness this morning, we've been able to carry out a number of tests. And I'm afraid Sandy is more seriously injured than we at first thought. It's his spine. He's paralysed? The bosses at ATV thought about it again and introduced another character, also disabled and cared for by his mother. And it showed that that person was receiving some support to care for him so that she had a break from caring. Well, how's that for timing? Hi, Tony. We brought you some jam. Mm. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so You'd much. You'd never think it to look at her, would you? But 30 seconds ago, she was running around here like a boo. Uh, Tony? Tail fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People wrote in and say, wow, that would be wonderful if that was really available to support people. How's your friend getting on with the Scott family? Oh, she's fine. The only trouble is the whole idea is snowballing. There's another family now want a nurse for a fortnight. Well, you ought to know as soon as I started that word would get around its own human nature, in it. Mm. I'm beginning to wonder just what we have started. We'll have to find the money somehow to carry on with it. There'll be others. Well, that's a problem. Isn't there some way we could persuade the National Health or Saxon Hall to foot the bill? I hate to bother you with it, Meg, but these people need help. It's terrible to have to refuse them. They put the thinking caps on again and um, ATV did some fundraising and raised £10,000 to start the very first Crossroads Care scheme, Crossroads Caring for Carers. Get a pool of nurses with experience in spinal injuries. But of course that's going to cost a lot of money. Where am I going to get it? So there are lots of ways that Crossroads has benefited carers and continues to benefit carers. And we are, I believe, the largest carer respite organisation actually in the world, all as a result of that TV programme nearly 37, 38 years ago now.